Hello, and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today, we will be going back to the Wilder Wild mod. Now, if you don't remember what the Wilder Wild mod is, the Wilder Wilder mod, that's the third time that I said it, is a mod that improves on the Wild update, since most people would consider the Wild update to be lackluster. So, they decided to add a bunch of new things, like updating the Savannah, Deep Dark, Swamp, and so much more. And adding stuff that was supposed to be added in 1.19, but never cut it, but never got made. Like the fireflies, or the taller, or the cooler burst forest. Those are in. If you haven't seen the video I made previously, then you should go watch it, because I'm not going to be covering everything again. Because, they actually recently, well, it was kind of a few weeks ago, but it was last month when I wasn't recording videos. But, they released a new update, which adds quite a few things that I would like to show. And starting off is they updated the bam <laughs> the bamboo baobab tree. Basically, if you go up to one of these, you'll be able to find these guys. This is a baobab nut. They they will spawn on top of baobab trees, and when you pick them, you can actually eat them. They can be a good food source, but they can actually be used to make your own. To, ma to basically make your own baobab tree. So if you place a 4x4 four four or just 16, then at one point it'll grow to be your own ba baobab tree. So let's just bump that out to a thousand and boom, your own baobab tree. So it kind of works like a mangrove propagule where it grows on the top of the mangrove tree and it's something that you can place on the ground and actually grow. I think it's really cool that it works as both a food source and a way to make new baobab trees in case you're running out. I don't know how you'd be able to run out of that much wood. Because let me tell you, that is stacks. Stacks of wood. But yeah, that is the first thing in this update. This mod has added a couple new things to the deep dark. Obviously last time we talked about this osseous skulk and this hangy tendril and a few other stuff like the ancient horn. But, they added a few more things, specifically two more things, starting off with the stone chest. This stone chest is a new version of the chest, where it takes a lot longer to open, and when you do open it, you have a limited time in it before it just slams on you, and it will just close automatically. I didn't press anything, it did that itself. If you were to find one of these, these do not naturally generate anywhere other than the, the ancient city. If you were to find these, they're gonna set off the they're gonna set off the sensors. So you best be careful, and also, you know, try and get those pesky items as quick as you can. Yeah, they they do make a challenge since they do create vibrations each time you try to open them, and it will be hard and annoying. And, as you see, I grabbed out a new thing from that chest. The Ancient Horn Fragment. Basically, instead of being able to just find the Ancient Horn in here, you find fragments of it. Then, when you, can, when you are able to find enough fragments, you are able to craft the Ancient Horn. I'm not going to show the recipe because you'll be able to find that out yourself. But, yes, I guess that is a bit nicer since this place seems to have a pattern of having special loot that only spawns in that only spawns in pieces or shards so i guess it's sticking to the oh the other stuff like the recovery compass and the music disc but yeah it's kind of a, it's a, it's pretty cool i really like the stone chest it was originally going to be added at 1.19 but it never made it through concept art a new thing you can craft is the display lantern what this basically does is you can display anything you want. So, its main purpose is to store fireflies when you catch them in bottles, as we looked over last time. So, I'm gonna put a white, <laughs> white firefly. Let's put in a normal firefly. And it goes up to four. You can have four fireflies in there, and it gives kind of a dim lighting. But, you can also store other things in it. And it'll just spin around. Which I think it's cool, because it truly is a display lantern. It can be very cool for just having stuff displayed around your place. 
And obviously, this will be cool since Tough Golem obviously isn't gonna win. Alright, enough of propaganda. Back to the mod. So, you might recognize the stuff in my hotbars as these are the copper horns, the things that might have been added in 1.18 or 1.19, but never got in. But they've added them, and there are seven different variants of them. The saxophone, tuba, flute, oboe, whatever, clarinet, trumpet, and trombone. How this works is, it depends on where you're kind of looking, whether you're looking down or up. That changes the pitch of it. So I'm going to use the saxophone. I'm looking all the way down, so that's the, that's the lowest pitch I can go. But I'm going to look all the way up, and that's the highest pitch I can go. Let's try the trombone. These all have different noises. It's nice. It could be cool for, you know, having concerts in your multiplayer world. But yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. But now, we're gonna get to the true star of this update. Welcome to the new cave biome, aka the Jellyfish Caves. If you find these in this cave, in this in the caves, then you'll be able to find some cool stuff, such as purple. <laughs> uh, you can find stuff like nematocyst. I don't know how to say that. Or this mesoglea. But of course, the star of this update, the jellyfish. Look at this guy. Oh, I can't even see him. Oh, it just went through. Oh, there you are, buddy. This is the jellyfish, the new mod that they added. And it is so cool. Look at it go. It's so cool. There are many different types of jellyfish. There can be red, blue, yellow, purple, you name it. But they do correlate to a new block that we just saw. But before we go to that, we're going to look through the mechanics of the jellyfish. If you swim near it, like a jelly, like a puffer fish, it will sting you and you'll get poisoned. And if you attack it, it's going to go after you. Oh, it got me. Yep, there we go. It's coming for me. Oh, look at it go. It's so beautiful. Ow! Ow! No! Don't hurt me! Ah! Anyways, uh, let's look over the new blocks. For the sake of actually being able to see the textures, I'm gonna turn off shaders. But look at these guys. They look super cool. It, they just look so they just look so nice. They're like they're like frog lights, but you know, transparent. So this is the blue paralyzed mesoglea, the purple paralyzed mesoglea, the blue mesoglea, yellow, lime, red, and pink. And you can waterlog these guys, and they kind of change textures to a more bubbly look, or more blobby look. Kind of like cumulus clouds. <laughs> but they do look nice, seriously. And when they are waterlogged, you can just go straight through them. And I'm pretty sure you can even swim in them, maybe? Uh, yep. Swimming in Metoglia, baby. These are the nematis- nat. Ah! These are the nematocyst blocks. These are kind of- These kind of work together with the, these blocks as they have the same colors. But I'm not putting them on them right now since I think this mod has like a texture problem where if you place this on top of one, then it'll just have this- Then you can see through it, which is- It's kind of weird. So that's why. But these are really cool looking. They're really nice and I just- It's just- It's really cool. They can be really cool for de decoration, kind of like, you know, rock can They kind of look like rock candy, not gonna lie. But yeah, that's it for this update. It's a pretty cool update. It's more based off around jellyfish, but there are some other things that they probably wanted to add. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the next update might be deserts and badlands, which was supposed to be part of the biome vote a while ago. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm finally back, and have a good day. See ya.